In this video, I'm going to talk about tying and slurring and how those work in MuseScore and different shortcuts. Um, first of all, tying um, is a little more limited. There's only one way that I know of that you can do it correctly and, and get it to sound correct in a playback. So um, first of all, tying, your tie button is up here in, in the uh, note bar, kind of what I call it. And you do have to enter your ties as you go through with the music. It, it can be entered after the fact, but it's easier to just do it as you're going through and emptying or entering your music. So if I want to tie a half note onto this whole note, um, first of all, let me go ahead and delete this. I'm going to enter my whole note where I want it, make it uh, an E flat. If I want to tie on a half note, I'm going to go up here to my note bar, click my half note, and then click the tie. And that'll add it on for you. And it'll sound correct in the playback. Now if I want to tie on another note, say I wanted to tie on an eighth note, um, I'm going to click that eighth note and click the tie. And it should add it right on. So you do have to go and enter, enter your ties as you're entering your notes in. It can't, it's not as easily added after the fact. For example, if I wanted to get in here, let's say that these are the same note here. This is a tie right now um, because remember, or sorry, this is a slur right now. Remember, slurs go between notes of two different pitches. Um, so if you're trying to create a tie by using this slur, it's going to play these like two individual notes in your playback. So let's, we're going to delete this slur out of here. We want to make this into a tie. Okay. And we're going to delete this note so we can re-enter it using our tie button. So we're deleting that note. We select the note that we're going to start with. Turn on your note entry select the note value that you want to tie on, and that's my eighth note up here. We're going to click the tie button. And there is a real tie. It will actually sound like that in the playback. And you can check to see if it's a tie or a slur by selecting the note and then using your up and down arrows. If they both move, that's a tie. If only one of them moves, if the only one that's selected moves, that means it's a slur. Now, to add in slurs, it's a little bit easier. Let's say I want to uh, slur this note to this note here. Um, you can click on the first note and push S, like just, just the letter S on your keyboard, and it'll give you a slur. And from there, you can kind of adjust it and drag it wherever you want it to go. But um, I really like for example, I have it slurred from here all the way down here to this C. Let's delete this one out of here. And I'm going to slur this from here to here. So I click the first one, hold the control button, and then click the last note in the slur, then push S, and it'll, it'll format it for you really nicely. So you don't have to stretch it and drag it around. And it'll stick to your notes if you end up reformatting your page. So. Um, there's a uh, slur also in your lines palette right here. You can drag and drop it in, but it's it's much quicker to just push S. So again, if, you, if you're just slurring from one note to the note right next to it, just click on the one note, push S, and it'll slur to the note right next to it. But um, if you do have to um, make it, you know, fit it around other things in your music, you can edit the shape of your slur. You just double click on it and it gives you all these little boxes where you can pull and uh, change the shape and, and the location of it and everything. 